This is Catherine from Vive Catherine. I'm here today with Elena Massa, president and owner of Adi Lib Flowers. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for taking the time out today to meet with me. Thank you. I'm really happy that you came. Tell us how you started Adi Lib Flowers. Well, I've always um, loved uh, making arts and crafts, uh, all kinds of, you know, like crochet and different things. Um, wood carving, and um, at one point, um, a year ago, I was working at the school where I worked, and we ran out of supplies in the home ec class where I taught. I also taught Spanish there. And I found a box with old tissue paper, and I said, well, you know, we can use these uh, and make uh, flowers. So the kids really enjoyed it. We had a great time making them, and um, I put them on display in the school, and everybody was complimenting them. Oh, they're so nice. And, you know, of course I was happy and um, decided to take a picture and post it on Facebook. And a few of my friends, they were also complimenting me. And someone came up and said, you should really sell them. And I was like, no, I'm not going to sell them. She invited me to a few uh, events where women network all different professions. Um, you know, they show their abilities or handcrafted things that they do and I went and I really liked it and I took off from there a year ago. Elena, tell us what areas you focus your business on. Well, we cover um, fundraiser events, uh, we cover um, weddings, birthdays, uh, bar mitzvahs, uh, corporate events, um, runway shows, uh, photo props for photo shoots, uh, accessories for models, um, window decorations for all kinds of businesses. What was the most memorable event that you took part in? Well, absolutely has to be the first one. <laughs> um, I did what the first flower um, arrangement that I made was for Millennium Magazine for the launch party a year ago in September. And um, I remember it took me like two weeks to make it because I was so insecure and I kept doing it and pulling it apart and doing it again. <laughs> I can imagine. And and then when I finally saw it there, when I took it and it was in the entrance in the reception area, um, I was very surprised, you know, that something that I made was in such an important place, you know, next to the red carpet where everybody was getting their picture taken. I honestly, it was, to me, it was like a dream, you know, and it's something I will never forget. It's something I always think about. And it, 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 this is what encouraged me always to do better because, you know, this is, this is something very dear to me. That one moment that I saw my flowers there and, you know, it, it was just like picture perfect, I guess. <laughs> Tell us which celebrities you created flowers for. Well, last year, the one that I remember, uh, because it was the first one, um, I did a fundraiser event for the God Pink event for breast cancer, and uh, Melissa Gorga from the Real New Jersey Housewives was there. And, and what was her reaction to the flowers? Well, I was so surprised she really liked it, <laughs> and she has to take one home for her daughter, Antonia. And there were uh, one single big flower with lights, pink, and um, I did it pink because the event was called Got Pink Event. And I named that flower Antonia after her daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Ari is for Ariana and Lib is for Life is Beautiful. Tell us why life is beautiful for you today. Well, my daughter is 12 years old. Her name is Ariana. And um, when I was thinking of a name for my company, I thought, um, since she's the youngest, I also have a son who's 27. I said, uh, build this for her, um, thinking of her future, and also thinking how um, our life has brought us all the way to where we are right now, where we're happy. And one thing I want my children, especially my daughter, to remember is that no matter how hard life gets, or no matter what happens, um, she's always remember life is beautiful. So it's my secret message to her. Well, not a secret anymore. <laughs> So Elena, what were you going through when you came up with the flower idea? Well, uh, I had just finished um, 
a five long year battle with an um, international court case that involved my daughter and myself. When my daughter was born, um, I moved back to uh, Argentina, where I was born with her father, and we were involved in a um, very bad uh, domestic abuse situation and um, where I couldn't get help in Argentina. So we came back here to the States, and a few months after that, um, I was charged with a child abduction. And I was being processed by the, um, by the international court. And um, through that process that lasted five years, we went through a lot. Uh, we lost the case twice. Uh, my daughter was faced with deportation twice. And, um, and at the time, you know, it was hard because, you know, everything that I was hearing from the lawyers was, you're not gonna win this case. The law only has three exceptions. The, one of the exceptions is if the, the country is at war, sh the child will not be returned to the habitual residence. If there's famine, or if you're able to prove that she was in a physical or a psychological um, danger. Under the rule, um, the rule 13B, which is the exception for um, psychological and physical abuse, uh, we had to prove that. And thank God we were able to prove it. And uh, my daughter is safe and sound with me. But we went through five years, which were, I really do not wish that on anyone. Because my daughter was at one point faced with like three hours for being placed in an airplane and sent back to Argentina, where she was going to be placed in an orphanage until the court systems in Argentina were able to process our case. And my lawyers in Argentina were saying that it could take a minimum of two years before the whole process would get moving. So that, mean, that meant that my daughter would have been in an orphanage without her mother for two years. And if I decided to go back with her, I would have been placed in jail th during those two years. And uh, we had gone through a lot and um, I always want to, I always want to concentrate on the positive of everything that happens because you know life is, is very challenging. So uh, my whole idea with starting the flower business was to show my daughter that no matter what you go through, you can always find something positive and something that makes you happy. And making the flowers makes me very happy. Knowing how challenging it is to be a single parent and an entrepreneur and a businesswoman like yourself, what is it like for you? Being involved in so many different events, um, I had decided a while back to take my daughter with me because I was feeling like we were not spending enough time together. So I took her to one of uh, the events I was taking flowers and they needed one girl for um, a young girl, my daughter's age for the runway show. And she did it and little did we know, it was we were very surprised to see that she had this uh, natural talent and since um, about six months ago, Adriana started modeling. Wow. So uh, now she's involved, and now she can participate with me also. I'll go to the event, and she'll be doing the runway show, and I'm going to be setting the centerpieces. And, you know, so I, I try to make her part of what I'm doing, too. Tell um, us about some of the charity work that you've done. Uh, well, I mainly cover the charity fundraisers that really are very close to my heart. For example, um, events that have to do with women's issues, such as domestic abuse, um, breast cancer. Um, now, breast cancer is very close to your family and to your heart. Tell yes. me why. Uh, well, uh, we have a family member that endured uh, breast cancer for a few years, and and also the the cancer uh, events are because my father had lymphoma and he was in the hospital for about a year and a half, and now he's cancer-free, mm -hmm. so um, that's very, very close to my heart. Well, thank you very much for your time today. I just wanna say that um, it's been a pleasure, and also, if you could leave our viewers with information on where they could find your beautiful Addy Lib flowers. Yes, you can uh, find me on Facebook, AddyLibFlowers.com. Uh, All right, thank you.